Well, there you are. Well, another day at work is done. Hmm? How was work today? Ah, oh, very well, thank you, Ted. What do I do for my job? Ted, you ask me this every time I come home from work. I work at the Looneyville pub, right? <laughs> and I'm usually the organizer of events. But when there are no events happening, I am a bartender. You got that? You remember now? Oh, good. Because I have a horrible feeling that you're going to ask me this again tomorrow. Well, Ted, there's something I want to tell you about today at work. We had some rather interesting customers. They were a group of three. A trio. And they, they were quite interesting. Well, um, let's see. Well, they were dressed in, a, in black velvet jackets and um, blue jeans and uh, motorcyclist boots um, so that, that was their dress sense and um, their attitude was quite bad so I didn't like that and their aftershave was horrible. Hmm? What was it like serving them drinks? Well, I had to be careful not to make them angry because they looked pretty tough. Who are those guys? Well, I'm guessing that the in a motorcycle gang. And when I served them their drinks, I thought, hmm, I'd like to be part of that gang. Hmm? I know I don't have a bad attitude, Ted. And I don't have horrible aftershave. But, if I, if I'm going to be part of of that gang, I can show them to have, I can teach them how to have a better attitude and teach them how to have some aftershave that smells nice. Did the gang have a name? Well, when they left, I noticed it said on the back of their jackets, the cool ones. And when I saw that name, that was why I wanted to join that gang, because of the name. And there's a name I really like. Oswald the Cool One. I like it. Apart from the bad attitude and horrible aftershave, Ted, just imagine me as one of the cool ones, you know, on a motorcycle. Yeah, tough. Ready to fight. Big muscles. Whoops. <coughs> Sorry about that, Ted. <coughs> hmm. I can't be part of a motorcycle gang looking like this, so I'll get rid of this. And 
this. And loosen this. Yeah. <laughs> Have I gone mad? No, Ted, I'm practicing to be one of the cool ones. Oh, and an another thing they uh, noticed about them was their, their tattoos on their hands. I didn't notice this until they were leaving, like get giving me back their empty glasses. Their right hands had the word cool on them, and their left hand had the word ones on them. So, if it's, it would be cool ones, you understand? I wonder if I could get a cool ones tattoo on my hands. Yes, I think I will give myself a tattoo. Now, um, do I have a, a pen? Ah, there's one. Look at me, Ted. I'm a cool one with a pen. Just pretend that didn't happen. Um, oh, um, I'm Oswald the cool one with a pen. Aha! Didn't drop it this time! Ha! Right, um... Okay, so... I write with my right hand, so... I'll write the words... Ones... On my left hand, okay? There we go, Ted. Once. Looks good, if I do say so myself. Now then. Okay, Ted. This is going to be tricky. I find writing with my left hand more difficult. So. Um. I think I can do this. Um. Uh, right. You know what, Ted? If I'm gonna be a cool one, I think I'll be cool and write cool with my eyes closed. Ah, there's a challenge. Okay. I think I'm ready to join the cool ones. Yes! Now that I've got my, my tattoos, my dress sense, I'm ready to be part of the pool ones! Wait, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Ones? Oh. Oh. Bother. <sighs> eh? 
I'm not cut out to be one of the cool ones. Oh, I suppose you're right, Ted. At any rate, look at me. This isn't me. This isn't Oswald Looney. I don't dress like this. No, I'd rather be plain old Oswald Looney. I could be cool in my own way. I don't need, I don't need to be part of some tough motorcycle gang. Right. Tattoos coming off. Tie tightened. Waistcoat on. Jacket on. Ah, that's much better. I'm plain old Oswald Looney again. And like I say, I could be cool in my own way, Ted. What's this? Hmm, muscle one. Muscle two. When I go to the gym, I'll be muscly. Oswald Looney. Who is cool in his own way. Hmm. <laughs> Time to take a trip. To the tailor's Ted. I may have got a hole in my trousers. And now that I've ripped my trousers, I think I will need to go to the gym after all. Or maybe go on a diet. How embarrassing. Why are you, you're, you're coming with me. I, can, I can't go without you. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm hurting your nose. But I don't want people seeing a hole in my trousers. <laughs> 